Welcome to our Five on Five. We're joined by Dr. Robin Miller, our own NBC5 medical expert, as well as Dave Kahn. You guys literally wrote the book on Southern Oregon, West Coast yes, Swing. Southern Oregon did. Swing is the big event, and we'll talk about the book in a second. <laughs> so SO Swing, the big event coming up about a week away. Dave, what are people going to come out and see? It's a big event. It's not just one thing. It's a lot of cool stuff. So people coming in from all over the region, all over the country for this convention. It's got a ton of workshops where people can learn this amazing dance. Uh, it's got competitions, it's got shows, and social dancing all night long. And I know when I say all night long, you're like, oh yeah, all night long, like maybe it goes till two. No, it goes all night long. There's a breakfast club and in the morning <laughs> at 6.30 we have to You don't get up and dance to breakfast, you just stay up all night. Stay up all night long and dance. And not, it's not mandatory, but a lot of people are into it. <laughs> and good. the breakfast club people get a special prize. They okay. do. Okay. The all night party. <laughs> that, right. That's Won't so say they, what it is, they but earned it's pretty it. cool. Okay. Well, I, I can't argue with that. Okay. So <laughs> West Coast Swing, What this is a particular type of swing. What, what is this? So most people think of swing and they think of like Glenn Miller or Benny Goodman or those old timey 1940s dances and that's not this. Hmm. So West Coast Swing is different than East Coast Swing. West Coast Swing is danced to all different kinds of music, so a lot of contemporary stuff. So really anything from top 40s uh, to country, jazz, blues. Pretty much if you like it and it's on the radio, we're dancing West Coast Swing to it. Interesting. And okay. you can wear jeans. It's not you, like you the, fancy, not the fancy skirts, none okay. of that. It's yeah. just some poodle skirt type thing. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, all I got to take the sweater off from ready to dance. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so, Dr. Miller, can anyone do this type of dance? Yes. If I can do it, anyone can do it. I've been doing it for now seven or eight years. Yeah. And it is so much fun, and it's so, it just makes me happy. Hmm. So even if you're not good, it'll make you happy. You're doing and, your happy dance. That's right. Yeah, and, and, and it's really, really good for you. It is. It helps prevent Alzheimer's. It helps people with Parkinson's disease. It helps with depression, social anxiety. You name it, it helps with that. And if you want to know how much, you can look at our book, okay. Healed Health and Wellness for the 21st Century, which is available on Amazon. There I'll just goes. throw in, I hate cardio. I okay. hate the elliptical. The treadmill is not my thing. Mm. And uh, I'm a personal trainer. I don't do any of that, that stuff that people suffer through at the gym, I dance, and it, okay, it and totally it. works, yeah. Nice, all right, very good. We'll take a quick break, guys. We'll have much more in a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. We're here with Robin Miller and Dave Kahn. We're talking about the big SO Swing, or so, so swing. swing, is that yeah. okay? I appreciate yeah, it's that. it's short for Southern Oregon Swing, so yeah. we call it SO Swing. Yeah, it's a week away, this, this big weekend-long event you guys have going on in Ashland and I guess around the valley. So, uh, dance lessons, though. If people want to learn how to do it, Dave, they can come out and get free lessons? Free lessons, pretty darn good price. Yeah, it's a good price. Yeah, so uh, it's a beginner's track, and it's open to the public all ages, and uh, it's happening throughout the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. And uh, you can just check out the schedule on the website. It's uh, SoSwingDance.com, and just hit the schedule, and then you can just see what it is that that we're offering, and anybody can come. Wow, pretty cool, right there. And, and Dr. Miller, you talked about uh, about this being such good physical exercise. Dave, you're a personal trainer. You even talked about that as well. But it, Alzheimer's, this yes. is good for your brain. Yes, we're all worried about losing our minds. But there was a great study that looked at over 400 people, followed them for five years. They were between the ages of 75 and 85. At the end of that time, they looked to see who developed dementia or Alzheimer's disease. And then they looked at the risks for Alzheimer's disease. And they found there were certain activities that some of these people did that protected them. Hmm. They looked at swimming, bicycling, golfing, 0% decrease in risk. Reading, 35% decrease risk. Crossword puzzles, 47% decrease risk. One activity decreased the risk by 76%, and that was partner dancing or ballroom <laughs> dancing wow. two to three times a week. Interesting. It's that interaction of brain power that helps build new neural networks. You can do it no matter how old you are, mm -hmm. and it help protects, help, helped protect to protect their brains. Incredible. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. Well, now I know why you've been, you've been pushing it. You've been, you've been talking about this for a long time and how good it is. And obviously, it's part of the book. Yes. So, so Dave, th this is not just come out and dance, you know, a whole, whole ballroom full of dancers. There's a whole convention going on? A whole convention. So all sorts of fun activities. We've got workshops. We've got competitions. We've got shows. And we've got tons of social dancing. And again, everybody's welcome. Okay, and it's soswingdance.com. Soswingdance.com. So swingdance. There you yeah. go. And if you need we'll shoes, you. you can buy them there, okay. as well as all kinds of swag. We've got So uh, Swing swag. <laughs> there you go. Nicely done. Thank you guys so much for being here today. Thanks Thank for having you. us. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back.